Hi Capricorn, this is my channel Psychic Love Tarot. Welcome to my channel. On this channel I do tarot readings for the people from all around the world. So you can subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. Right now I'm going to do a reading for Capricorn people that uh, what will happen from 15th of April till 30th of April 2024. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a cross spread from this tarot deck and we'll see what will happen overall. So let's start your reading Capricorn. Okay. Messages for Capricorn. 15th, 30th of April. Messages for Capricorn. 15th to 30th of April. Messages for Capricorn. 15th to 30th of April. Messages for Capricorn. 15th to 30th of April. Okay, Capricorn. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so uh, the first card in the middle we have is Five of Wands. So Capricorn, right now you're going through some kind of conflicts. For some of you, there may be a competition, an air of competition, um, uh, and uh, also resistance and disagreements and conflicts maybe even with one person or maybe with uh, many people uh, so it's like uh, right now it's it's a little bit chaotic for you you have been really stressed out nine of swords before that you have been really stressed out and um, uh, overthinking worried about something for some of you sleepless nights uh, so it's not looking good at this point in time underneath we have king of wands so uh, don't worry about the gender but maybe it's a conflict with a person male or female uh, it can be anybody and uh, also i feel that um, uh, you are also putting your foot down on something it's like you are wanting things your way, whatever you are uh, wanting. <clears throat> Sorry. In your mind space, we have 10 of wands. For some of you, maybe something have blocked or something has stopped or there is a break or uh, lots of uh, burdens, responsibilities, heaviness, and uh, also it's like um, uh, it's like uh, like blockages uh, and lots of factors and maybe um, uh, multiple people are involved in whatever is going on here so overall capricorn it's not looking good in the present time when we're doing this reading before the second half of april uh, so uh, yeah basically it's like that what i see now before we move forward please like the video and if you are interested in watching to the point and straightforward readings regularly please subscribe to my channel and uh, personal readings are available now for the people living in united states uk europe and canada uh, i do these readings on live video call on skype so if you're interested in buying a personal reading just add me on skype and we'll take you from there skype id is written on the screen right now it's also in the description of this video. Now moving forward, uh, just let me fix this camera. Okay. Okay. Now moving forward, first we have Empress. So uh, that's a good positive energy Capricorn. And I think you're gonna start focusing on yourself uh, in the second half of April. You'll start uh, loving yourself, pampering yourself, making yourself comfortable, uh, not um, focusing on the problems, the burdens or whatever uh, is creating disturbance in your life. For some, of, for some of you, maybe you are pregnant or there is some kind of pregnancy going on uh and uh, like uh, maybe you're already pregnant or maybe you're planning to be pregnant or maybe you are pregnant it's for a very few of you of course everybody can't be pregnant okay clarify uh 
Empress. Clarify. Empress. Clarify. Empress. Okay. Sudden Deputy. Uh, that's a very uh, positive energy, Capricorn, and I think there uh, is going to be uh, like first of all, universe is going to be on your side in the second half of April, and I think there will be some kind of uh, windfall gain or a sudden opportunity for you coming in, uh, or something magical can happen in a very positive way. But then we have devil. So uh, that's basically a dark energy. Uh, so I feel maybe you'll still uh, feel stuck in some kind of situation and you'll feel that, okay, how do I get out of this situation or how do I get uh, this situation to work for me or things like that. Uh, for some of you, this can be uh, something about drugs or uh even abuse in some a few cases or it can be just uh, you having some fears or um, anxiety uh, and um, claustrophobia a little bit in some situation clarify devil Okay, loyal hearts. So for some of you, it's about a love situation, uh, but it seems to be um, uh, like maybe uh, you want to work a love situation, uh, you want to work it out, but uh, uh, it's like um, maybe uh, it's not working uh, like you want it to be. Uh, for some of you, it's about maybe you'll be questioning loyalty of somebody that whether they are loyal to you or not so it's going to be different for different people but then we have six of cups so again a very positive energy so i think this devil energy this toxic energy whatever that is uh, that will be uh, mellowed down um, quickly uh, and six of cups is about reconciliation for some of you uh, or maybe things working out and things, um, uh, let's say a situation you want to work out a situation and it's, it's stuck, it's not working out. So that can work out. For some of you, it can be like that you ended things with somebody and you will reconcile with them again. Uh, for the others, if it's not the case, then they, then you'll be feeling uh, very childlike and very nostalgic and you'll be having a great time and enjoying a lot. Uh, it can be romantic for some of you. It can be about the soulmate and all those things. I don't know much about these labels, uh, so I don't talk about them. Okay, clarify Six of Cups. Okay, chaos and conflict. So yes, there has been uh, some kind of uh, uh, disagreement or conflict with somebody. It can be in work, it can be in love, it can be in any situation, a family situation, whatever it is. Uh, you are having some conflicts with somebody, they're gonna resolve in the second half of April. I, uh, I think by the end of April, the conflicts will be resolved whatever the conflicts are don't worry about them they will be resolved and then we have commitment in the shadow for some of you maybe you'll get committed to somebody uh, but if not then maybe uh, the conflict will resolve whatever the conflict is and then there will be some kind of uh, maybe you'll take that uh, that uh, relation uh to the next level maybe the relation the work relation or the love relation or a friend relation or a family relation whatever that relation is because it's about person uh 
which you have conflicts with so the conflicts will be resolved and it will be uh, a lot better uh, and then things will work out uh, however you want them to work out for you so please hit the button like if you like the video and give me a thumbs up you can subscribe to my channel if you like what i do and thank you so much for watching the video stay blessed always